All right, guys, another great drill to do with the connection ball. Um, I also have a dodgeball here. If your players are too small and this is a little bit too big for them, I just have a mini dodgeball. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take either the connection ball or the, the, the mini dodgeball, we're gonna put it back in their, in their bicep forearm area on their back arm, okay? There's two different ways to do this. One, you can do it in here, and then the second one, you can actually put it on top of their shoulder and put it into this position. You see a lot of, a lot of players at a young age, they get really long with their swing. Some coaches will call it getting disconnected. Other, play, other coaches will just say, you know, you're super long, real loopy. So the first one, we're gonna put right here in, in our bicep, uh, forearm wrist position. So now as we make that move to the ball, we stay nice and tight. You'll hear other coaches talk about like keeping that, pretend like you're doing a bicep curl. You get to the top of your bicep curl position and that's how we wanna make our move forward to the ball. So this is just a good way to really feel squeezing that dodgeball in there. So now, instead of your players getting long, it forces them to stay tight. So I'm just gonna demonstrate a couple here on side toss. Stay tight, and it's gonna fall out in front of us. All right, I'm freezing that extension now. They can do full swings. Um, but again, if that ball's dropping out back here, we know they're getting long. If it falls out in front of home plate, or towards the coach that's doing, doing the side toss, you know you're staying tight and you're working in the middle of the field. The second one, very similar drill. You put it back on, on top of their shoulder here. This forces them on their load to get back to a good launch position. You'll see a lot of players, as they get loaded, their hands are coming forward with them. Remember, when we load, we wanna feel separation or some stretch between our hands and our front foot. We wanna feel that stretch. I, I like to tell my younger guys, almost like you're shooting a bow and arrow. You wanna feel that stretch back with the hands. So if you have a player that gets loaded and everything's falling forward at once, this is a great tool. Put it on top of their shoulder, and now when they're practicing their load, they get back into this position right here. Knobs at the catcher, I'm pinched back, I'm strong. I'm a heck of a lot stronger here than I am with those hands coming forward all at once. 